What's up everybody? This is Around the Tryhard here. And I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, I apologize for that, but we are back with another Zoss matchup tip here. And uh, this time I'm going to be covering 22B plus K. Which is kind of a weird looking move, honestly. I always thought it was really cool. You know, he does a like a cartwheel forward. It's one of his Soul Calibur 3 moves that they added back. And as you can see, it covers a very long reach. And it is negative 6 on block. Which makes it really, you know, safe if you block it. Um, you know, he can even set up for like GIs afterwards. The thing is, it knocks back a little bit too. Um, so there's that as well to keep in mind. But um, one of the biggest things it's used for is characters like Ivy. Um, in, in a lot of matchups, you probably won't see the Zoss using 22B plus K that much unless he's styling on you. Um, but against Ivy and Aswell and sometimes Mina, it can be really useful um, to kind of close the gap. So here's an example. Um, you know, Ivy does this move, right? Lots of Ivy's like backing up and then doing that to try to like keep some space. But Zoss can whip punish that from like almost full screen with this thing. So it really has, it really forces Ivy's to be wary of using that 66A whip um, in neutral versus Zoss. Because like if I'm in neutral, I'm sitting here actually like buffering 8-way run. That way, as soon as I see her whiff it, I can be ready. So that's kind of the trick. Um, you know, for Zoss players as well to the Ivy matchup. If Ivy players like whiffing that, that's what you want to go for. Um, so it's really worth keeping in mind about that. Um, you know, other examples. I can whip punish that. Oops. Uh, and then this one. Let's try that again. Alright. So yeah, like, that one's a little harder to punish with, but you see I can still have a decent amount of time to whiff punish it. Um, so that basically shuts out all of Ivy's typical neutral moves that she likes using in neutral because most characters can't really call out on them for it. Um, there's also something that he can, he can do specifically against uh, Ivy, but we won't really go into it that much. But he can do this. And, you know, obviously this is a much better wave punish if you can land it. 6BB lethal hit is nasty. But it's tricky. You really have to get the spacing right because... You see, I didn't space it right there. Or I accidentally didn't input it right and 6-6B came out. So that is like, you will not see too many Zosimo players do this. This is like an advanced Zosimo player thing. Um, but if you can back up and back in, you know from any range. That's something I've practiced a lot and I still screw it up occasionally. Um, that's something also to be worried about. Basically in this matchup, just don't be like super, super negative on whiff. Watch out for something like this. Um, I can show you an example with as well. Pretty much the same situation. Um, if Aswell is trying to transition, right? Uh, let's see. So if he's like trying to do like this, you know, something like that. Like Aswell's like starting off the match like this. So like, or like that, then I can punish that. Or if he tries doing like this, then I can do that. Or even if he just does that, you know, I can whip punish those. So, Aswell's got that kind of problem too, as I said before. Um, when he's in spear state specifically, that's kind of how I treat him, is similar to how I would treat Ivy, where I'm sitting there walking around like this in neutral. And you know, waiting till he whiffs so I can then land that on him. Um, 
So that's that. Let's switch. Let's switch to Yoshimitsu for an example here. So, yeah, as I said, this is minus six on block. Um, so, basically, if we have him standing, or at all, if we have him attacking with an AA. Oh, well, yeah, it, put, it forces crouch. That's the other thing. I forgot about that. So, not only is this minus six, but it forces crouching. So, you can't use, like, most... I tens with characters. Let's um, let's switch to Raph so we can show off an I ten that you can use while crouching. So after this, we're going to. Here we go. Where's six BB? There we go. All right. So that might be a little off. Um, let's just, we're just going to mash it, and we're going to play the recording. Oh. That's right. Uh, play recording number three. There we go, okay. So yeah, you see it's... It's minus six, so in that situation I can do this. Um, if you have an I-10, you know, it's a high, so it loses to that anyway, but even if I have a curse, that's, you know, I can't do anything. But, if he tried to answer it with 2A, for instance, like, you see how that gets out of 2A distance, which is really nice. Um, you know, any distance, it'll push back. And if I space it right, I can push back even further and, you know, be at a further distance away. So it's a really good zoning tool. Um, the only thing about this is that, obviously, it's a vertical. Very sidesteppable. Um, it leaves him really open when he does it. So if I'm, you know... I can do something like that, or as Zoss, I can get a back throw set up for half his health. So, yeah, it's it's obviously not to be used willy nilly because if you box step, you can easily get out of it, like almost on reaction too. See. So it has no real vertical range at a distance. Up close, it's a little more of a vertical range, but still not much. Um, and you know, since the vertical nerf, it's gotten nerfed even harder. So that's basically 22B plus K. Um, you know, as as far in depth as I can get with it. Pretty much in neutral, you just gotta watch out for it. Don't whiff. Um, you know. Otherwise, something like that will happen. So, always be in mind. It's kind of still considered a new move, so that's why I, I felt I need to cover it. Um, it was introduced in Season 2, but or like the beginning of Season 2 with his moveset. But people still don't really think about it much, and what its applications are. So, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to comment. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for anything you want me to cover in the future. Um, next video, we'll be covering 6BB Lethal Hit. So be looking forward to that.